Welcome everyone. Uh, today's virtue is from Evelyn Underhill called God Doesn't Hurry. Consider the long suffering of God, the long suffering and gentleness of absolute perfection and absolute power, and how the further we press into the into the deeps of spiritual experience, the more those qualities are seen. How God looks past the imperfections of men as we look past those of children with what, une, with what un, unexacting love he accepts and uses the faulty. See how Christ deliberately chooses Peter when completely realizing Peter is completely realizing Peter, his unreliable qualities, his boasting. His prompt. His prompt response to fear. Peter's family must have thought, thank heaven, a chance for the tiresome creature now when he joined the apostolic band. But Christ did not just put up with him. He'd offered, he offered him a continual and special friendship knowing what was in the man. He took Peter into the inner fastness of, of Gethsemane and asked for his prayer and did not get it. Is that the way we handle our tiresome and unreliable friends? Because it is with personal contacts we, we have always got to begin. It was to Peter Christ addressed his rare approach. What? Could you not watch one hour? And it was from this that Peter went to the denial. Yet in spite of all the long suffering love and trust of Christ won in the end and made Peter the chief of the apostles, the rock, what irony, on which he built the church. He was right, for here the church is now. In Peter's care and Peter's love, Christ left the feeding of the sheep, a remarkable sequel. Who shines in that series of events, Christ or Peter? Christ shines, but Peter is transformed. Christ's attitude and action are only possible to holiness. And they are justified by results. Here is the standard set for us in our dealing with the faulty. The, the fruit of the spirit is never rigorism, but always long suffering. No startling high standard, no all or nothing demands, but gentleness and tolerance and spiritual, moral, emotional, intellectual judgments and claims. No hurry, no exactingness. That is not easy when we are keen and see the work we love imperiled by someone else's fault. But God says, but, but God says St. Paul is a God of patience. He works in tranquility and tranquility seldom goes into partnership with speed. God breaks few records 
but he always arrives in the end. One of the best things we can do for souls is to wait. One of the worst things we can is to force the issue. God lets the plant grow at its own pace. That is why he can bring forth supernatural beauty in and through imperfect instructions. All of us need this grace of long suffering in respect to our own life of prayer. There too, we must learn to wait, realizing the degree in which it depends on God's quiet creative action, the profound nature of the changes it demands in our whole being. We've, we have got to become a new creature as the New Testament says, a creature living towards God if it takes nine months, if it takes nine months to make a natural baby, would it be very surprising if it took nine years to make a supernatural baby? Terry, though, the Lord's leisure. Thank you for listening. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to worship God with me. The fruits of the spirit.